hear something? No. You know that there's a 10 to 1 ratio of guys to girls here? Oh, I'm sure that had nothing to do with your decision to enroll Of here. course not. <laughs> Andrea, look at the dreamboat up in the window. He's the one I was telling you about. Come on. Oh, yeah? Let's wait. Susie! Where'd he go? <laughs> Honey, he's cute. You think he saw us? I hope not. Look, Andrea, if you like him, you should do something about it. I don't even know him. Well, if you don't, I will. You need a chaperone. Good morning. I am Dr. Beauregard Eisner, Dean of Ettinger Academy. On behalf of the entire faculty, I extend a warm welcome to our new students, especially you young women who are the very first to be admitted to Ettinger Academy in our long and Who's rich that, big man on campus? At Ettinger, we believe in the reward for high endeavor. The soundness of the Academy's methods is attested to by the increasing numbers of our successful alumni, senators, governors, <laughs> Ettinger precepts, Somebody's tuition check must have even bombed. reached as high as the over office. So you see, the future belongs to those with the courage to seize it. Again, I bid you welcome and leave you with these immortal words. Our school motto, Carpe Diem, seize the day. Seize the day. See, my whole theory is inbreeding. You know, I believe that rich people marry other rich people, and they have stupid offspring. And, and the, the, the extent of this idiocy is directly proportional to how much money they have. I call it the kooky cash theory. It's very widely accepted. And can I interest you in one of these beautiful rock tumbler carrots while we're Oh, no potatoes. Uh, thank you. If you give me potatoes, I'll kill your entire family. I guess I wanted my chicken a la mode anyway. That's that's fine. Thanks. It looks delicious though. Like close encounter. I'll have a double order of potatoes. You can't exactly call that tradition. Yeah, I'd call it neo-fascist capitalism. All right, I gotta go. I got three duty slips this week. You got three? How do we get off with that I stuff? I don't know. I gotta work for the blood drive. You wanna give? Me? Uh, no, no way. I hate the sight of blood, especially when it's my own. <laughs> so, uh. You got a boyfriend or anything? I have a boyfriend surplus at the moment. Oh, good. You'll just have to yearn for me from afar. <laughs> okay. I'll see you. Come up and visit sometime, all right? I'm new here. What's yours? Hi, Emerson. Don't waste your time. She's already going steady with a football player. Ooh, really? Well, what's your name, then? Get lost. Is that get short for Gertrude or Getty? Susie, hmm. this is Paul Emerson. Hi, Susie. Want to go out? Uh-huh. Andrea, check out that guy. Two rows back, black sweater. <laughs> Forget it. It's Philip, my roommate. He's a total droid. Brain dead. You know, really stupid. Drooler. Hi, I'm Louis Philo, and this is Biology 47. Oh For the first couple of lectures, we'll be dealing with the anatomy of the brain. And later on in the semester, each of you will have a chance to dissect your own animal brain. At that point, some of you will be delighted that this is not the last class before lunch. 
The course will touch on some of the many philosophical questions associated with modern biology. <clears throat> we'll look at the newest work on brainwave studies regarding such phenomena as uh, hypnosis and meditation. And conditioning, the brain as a computer, which can be reprogrammed. To all you new students, I want to welcome you to heaven. Can you imagine 100 years without women? They're starving for our attention, and we're the best looking girls here. I knew we should have What are we going to do? We were outvoted at the committee meeting. I hate women. Done now. The only thing I think more than women is men. What he says. I think they're terrific shoes. As a matter of fact, they ought to be a mandatory part of the, uh, the, the dress code. Thanks. As, as a matter of fact, I think we could probably come up with a new uniform for the school. What do you say I drop by your apartment like midnight? We'll work on it, okay? Read my lips. No. Bye. Bye. Hey, hi. Uh, welcome. I'm on the welcome committee, and I... Okay, welcome. I can get to even look at me in this school are freshman geeks like Emerson. Oh, come on. He's a nice boy. Honey, nice is how your mother describes her best friend's zip-faced son. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sexy is what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. Take Philip. Oof. He is a god, isn't he? I'm serious. Okay, what are you two up to? Hey, I'm just trying to find a decent radio station. I'm sick of all the music stuff they've been playing around this school. Hello? Hey, baby. Huh, how are you? Fine. You ready to quit yet? I'll pick you up on my new bike. Well, used bike. Ah, new to me anyway. Barry, I'm uh -huh. not gonna quit. Well, maybe you would if you knew more about the place. Guess what I found out today about your fancy little prep school? You know the guy that started the place? He's a psycho. Psycho? Yeah, Colonel Eddinger. Got thrown out of the U.S. Cavalry for scalping Indians in the 1800s. He and his buddies, they started a group called uh, the Brotherhood of Eternal Knowledge. What the hell are you talking about? In the library. I checked the whole history about it. I know what you're trying to do. You know, I got this scholarship and I'm going to see it through. I have to go. Andrea! Freaking out, man. I swear he's willing to say anything to get me to leave this school. <laughs> 